I'm going to go ahead here and show you how to remove a piston pin with a Motion Pro piston pin style puller. This one's pretty cool because it comes with a, an adapter. See this piston that I've hacked off here? This side is the same diameter top to bottom, so you would use this flush adapter like so. So sometimes you have one that's not flush, and so what we have here is this adapter to put on here that can go against the body and then draw it through without having a problem and not being supported. So pretty cool adapter there. First off, get your wrist pin clip out. You can see the groove in there from the cutaway. When you get these kits, it's just usually going to come in a bag with different size pin adapters. What these are is you're going to size up the diameter of the pin with the idea that you're going to draw that through. So you need to be smaller than this pin because we don't want to hit the connecting rod and damage the bushing. So we definitely want to be smaller, but we want to grab enough meat. So this one here has a chamfered edge on both sides. And what I don't like about that is it can actually suck into the pin and then wedge itself in there. So I've come up with a little solution that works pretty well. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So those adapters, like I said, are meant to, to go in here, but they have to be smaller than the pin diameter. So in my kit, I've just kept a handful of washers. And you're going to see that allows me to center on there and definitely be smaller than the diameter of the pin, which means I'm definitely going to be smaller than that bronze bushing. I'm not going to accidentally, as I'm pulling this through, dig into the connecting rod bushing. So let me show you how that gets set up. The tool with the appropriate adapter, in this case we just need the straight one, it's going to come through here. You just need the stick and through far enough to be able to thread it in flush against that pin. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my selected washer. Once again, does not come with it. It's something that I add. This is left-handed thread. Go ahead and I'm going to make sure that I got all the threads going here. Now that I have this in place where I want, go ahead and draw that pin through. Let's go ahead and zoom in there. And once you get going, you should be able to have nice smooth action. If you're binding right here, quit. That Because that means you've hit the rod and you need to stop and readjust yourself. Here's a good side shot view of that again. You have to be centered there. If not, you're going to have problems. In our case here, we would be free. Off the connecting rod. As you can see here, the piston pin is drawn inside of here. We take this off. Retrieve our piston pin. Now you can do the same thing as far as installing it. And let me go ahead and show that. Let's just assume though that we were having to press this in. There you have it. There is a little uh, cutaway tutorial we made.